Hello everybody, this is Frank Day, Frank Day Models. Okay, for this uh, beautiful Monday on my day off, I have another video here. Uh, I'm going to start another build. I'm going to build as big as I can. Keep myself going. Now, I've been on this thing for off and off for many, many years. I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not, but I built this out of mothballs, out of my big storage. I've had this thing since 1960, I think, 6061. This model ain't no stranger to any of you that's out there. It's three box on a Lindbergh. This is dispatch type. This is the very first three weeks. It came with a pre painted hull. This too can be radio control because I've seen these things radio control. And I've got, I've got loads and loads and loads. And then some full of servos, speed controls, and everything else. So, this will not, this will not make up for my Carol Moran. Nothing will make up for my Carol Moran. There's a lot of them out there like that, but that one was mine, and it's gone. So, it's like my first girlfriend that left me. I'll never get her back. Life goes on. I'll bounce back. Like one of my commentators told me, he says, you go bounce back, like, huh? I'll bounce back fast. It's just a hell of a blow losing something. Like, you know what? It's not the money. Money's nothing. Time is more important. And all the time I prepared building a thing, I took it and run it all the time and showed you great fellows on my channel in the whole world to see. Now it's in the bottom of the sea. Now I see one thing, it ain't gonna happen again because I ain't going there. I went back there today for curiosity to see if there's any chance they could have floated up. There's too much ballast that damn thing. Uh, Officer Jim Mullins came over to me and said, Hey, Frank, how you doing? I said, Pretty good. I said, A little too good out there for your boat. He says, No, I don't. I just lost one yesterday. He goes, What? I lost my tug. He said, That big one you had? I said, No, no, no. I said, I lost one you've never seen before. It's a, it's a 172nd scale, 18 inch tugboat. I said, What happened to it? It sunk. It went aground on all that junk out there. And some kid came by with a fishing pole trying to fish me out of there. And he got me almost out. As he pulled it, he, he pulled in more water in the boat than the boat would actually float to me. So the hook flew off, and uh, and um, by the time he recast again, it was gone. I saw just a fantail going down. I asked him also, how, how deep is it out there? He said, how far did you go? And he walked out to me. I said, well, it's, it's probably about, uh, oh, I don't know, about 30 feet from me, 20 feet. And he said, out there, Frank, it's 20 feet. Really? And he goes, yeah. He says, I was here to go this pond. This pond used to be a run of fresh water from all the streams that I here. It still does. And the middle out there is 40 feet water. I had to do this pond that day. It's all state. I almost went in yesterday. So, oh, don't do that. I said, no, I just had sense not, not to. I said, hell, I'm eight years old. I so, said, heck, I don't want to go out there and get myself killed, being stupid. And he goes, well, we're sorry it happened. I don't know. So it's all over with guys. It's like <laughs> spilt milk. You got to wipe it up. It's all done. Other ventures. Okay. I want to build this here. I'm going to work on this tonight. Before I get started with view of this thing. I'll show you how much it got down on the camera we're at. Making progress. I got the scupper plates. They call them free ports. I got them all all installed, measured, cut off. I got the borderline all painted. The hull's got to be painted. This ain't, the, this ain't the right color for the hull, gray. It's got to be painted over gray from the borderline on up. So I'm going to act them. I'm going to mask a black boot topping across here. Then I'll go ahead and, and uh, first of all, I'm going to paint the whole red. I'm going to paint the whole gray. I can run over the war lines I made on this thing. This right here is up a filler right there. While I was filling the sanding, I just painted the war line on here. And uh, it looks pretty straight.
Yep, pretty straight. So I'm with the same, uh, it's pretty thin, but it works good. Feels like fiberglass. So I'm gonna let this thing dry overnight. I just painted this thing. Next step in that thing is get the stepping tube. I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole. Then you get one of these and uh, run the stepping tube up there. And I'm gonna give you a three way propeller on there. Okay, back to this. This is what I'm gonna do. I think I paid what three dollars this thing back then? Two or three dollars? Yeah. Two ninety-eight. About your two dollars. This is the old ITC Pyro kit. Use the instructions they give you. A lot of good stuff in here. Quite different from the Lindbergh stuff. The hull has been painted already. I'm going to paint that gray where I got that tape, yellow tape mask. I'll go back over and check the masking on this thing, make sure it's right. The hull was already painted gray. And I gave it a coat of semi gloss. I gave it a coat of dull coat after that. So I'm going to go ahead and airbrush all this here. And I'll be working on it tonight. And I'll have other fitting parts besides the little black bag. Here's the cabins and everything. The stands. The bulwark that fits the top of that. And the rails fit top of here. Like this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you these lads, too. No ship or boat ain't good without its crew. This one has a build bunker. Little figures in there. This is 187 scale. This boat's been no stranger for a long time. And, uh, I'm going to build it. I got a lot of Billings kits down here. I gotta get, I wanna get my little story again. I'll get those spots one of these days. But gotta get, get back on that port and get that moldings done and get the officers' country, officers' state rooms. I get them all done and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work aft, topside, and build that big old rocking frame. Okay. Now, probably ain't gonna be too much longer. I'm gonna get back on this Titanic right here. I'll get that going too. Okay, that's about what I got going now. Let's see. There's maybe something here I need to show you guys. And I just comes to mind when I shut the video off. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna love this. I know you are. I dug this out. I've had this for, I don't know, 60 years, 55 years. The paint set. This is an old Billings paint set I got my lot of van. There's the, the originator and the inventor and the uh, the one that actually formed building boats. That's the great late Mr. Einar, Bill, Einar Billings. Is that the way you spell your name, Mr. Billings, is Einar? If it's wrong, sir, I'm very, uh, I, 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 I stand corrected, sir, I apologize. This man's dead for years. And guess what, his son takes over after he left off, and he's got his boy just like he had this son, Billings, the first club kid. 
This paint set here goes to the to the dam, to the, uh, to the Lima Dam, and they're all the years, all the stuff faded out on me. That was turpentine when I was in there. It holds out. This right here is filler. So these are all your little tins of paint right there. So I figured it'd be a lot treat to show you guys. So I had this thing, had this thing for years. And uh, I don't know how you can paint a model like that with a beautiful looking coat on, a tie, and a shirt and everything, how dapper, how well dressed this man is. I think he just did that just to make a picture. You can't work, I've seen guys work like that before, lot of building models. They're very clean, they watch themselves very, very closely as they paint. They're careful, very, very conscious how they, how they work. They don't work too sloppily, too crazy, I think. That's how you get paint over the place. Okay, so I think I showed you guys that. I think you guys get a good, a good buzz out of that. Okay, that'll be that. I'm gonna start working on the on the uh, And my pyro uh, dispatch tug, which is an Army ST tug, also. And um, get that going. Probably make a couple live actions of that. Okay, that's all I got going, guys. So I'll probably be, uh, got a lot of work to do with these things. I'll probably be off camera for a while. But I got live actions coming up pretty soon. Okay, this is Frank Dave Becky Diamond signing off. Thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate it very deeply inside my heart and soul. And take care of mom, take care of little ones, and take care of yourselves. Spend wisely, watch yourself as you drive. Fall's coming around the corner right here. And uh, time to build some models. And uh, say your prayers for yourselves, your family, and for God, your country. And uh, God won't listen to the prayers of the center. Only listen to the prayers of the people who pray to him. We'll get this full back in shape again like the way it's supposed to. It's all the taxes a little bit. It's done for years past before we know. We just caught up in the shit. So eventually the, the shit uh, shit goes out with shit. It'll be over with before you know it. Very soon we'll have a screwed up shit show. Excuse my French kids. I know we didn't use for families on here, but all, after all, this video is not published for children to watch, so. I'll square at the house there. Okay, I'm gone. We'll see you guys on the next video. If I can live action on the dispatch tug. So I'm going to be working this line a little bit. Okay, I'm out of here. This is Frank Dave, Frank Dave Model signing off. Take care of yourselves, fellas. We'll catch you on the next video. And thank you very much.